Hello, my friends. My name is Darren Gertis, and this is The Daily Brief. It is Friday, April 19th. Okay, so there are 870 Russians off the battlefield. Not a lot of tanks destroyed. 17 armored combat vehicles. 53 vehicles and fuel tanks are off the battlefield. Okay, so the biggest story affecting Ukraine is a strike in Dnipro, killing at least eight people, uh, including two children, uh, injur injuring dozens of people, uh, apparently just hitting this building. I just like no military value that I can detect. Meanwhile, the Ukrainians are striking at the Russians by knocking down a 222 bomber. Now, a 222 bomber carries the KH-22 cruise missiles that have been just plaguing Ukraine. Uh, at the same time, they also hit 17 or sorry, 14 Shahids, 11 KH-59 guided air missiles, and two KH-22 cruise missiles were shot down. But Russia does not want to admit that they these were actually shot that the, the plane was actually shot down. Uh, this is in Pravda. The T-222 bomber crashes into the field in southern Russia. They claim incompetence. They would rather be incompetent than have Ukraine shoot it down. They claimed it was friendly fire, and I'm not making that up. Showed this video, but they didn't show. They showed it from the time it was falling, not from the time before it was hit. It, so you can't actually see that. Meanwhile, last night, uh, Israel carried out a strike against Iran, and there's not a lot of details. We know that uh, Israel struck back at Iran. We know that uh, some bombs or missiles fell near an air base. We know that there were explosions. We don't know the scope or the uh, if they hit whatever, it, but it appears like it was a very limited strike so that they could have struck back and maybe it's over maybe iran decides to escalate some more i don't know but that's what we know so far georgia interior ministry reported that 40 people were detained they're still protesting about the foreign agents law in uh, georgia and uh that that could go very badly for them so it looks like the current administration is kind of clamping down on the georgian people and I just want to end on this. A survivor of the Russian missile attack on a Dnipro comforts the cats that he rescued. I'm looking at his face, and it looks like he's getting as much out of this as the cats are. I mean, that's got to be a terrifying experience. All right, my friends, uh, that's it. Thank you. Oh, by the way, 880 of you have joined my Patreon so far. Uh, now, that's not 880 that are, you know, members in the paid sense, but... I need you to come over to Patreon, even in the free version. Just come over here just in case. I'm bracing against this right now. I just reached out to the Russian dude, and I haven't heard back yet, but apparently he's been demonetized on YouTube. And so please come over. I'm not asking you to be a member, but if you do choose that, I appreciate that. I greatly appreciate that. This is my stability plan. Thank you for the likes and the shares and the subscribes and being awesome. And thank you for being the kind of person who cares about Ukraine.